a U.S. congressional committee is requesting a briefing from the top intelligence official regarding Beijing's infiltration of Canada's high-security lab in Winnipeg. This follows revelations that two scientists collaborated with the Chinese military to acquire Western technologies. The House Committee on Energy and Commerce asked the Canadian Security Intelligence Service, or CSIS, for information about Xiang Guo Tiu and her husband Ge Ding Cheng. Committee Chair Kathy McMorris-Rogers referred to them as spy scientists in a letter dated March 24th, addressed to Director of National Intelligence Avril Haines. The committee is investigating the origins of the COVID-19 pandemic to help guide biosecurity reforms. Ms. Rogers' committee is seeking details about the scientists' communication with the Wuhan Institute of Virology, or WIV, in China. The letter mentioned that recent information from CSIS provides insights into the WIV's activities leading up to the pandemic. In July 2019, these scientists were removed from the National Microbiology Laboratory, or NML, in Winnipeg amid an RCMP investigation and had their security clearances revoked. They were then fired in January 2021 due to undisclosed ties to Chinese entities and participation in talent recruitment programs. In a press release, Ms. Rogers, along with two subcommittee chairs, raised concerns about the scientists' involvement with the Chinese regime. Of particular concern is that Dr. Tio, covertly and without authorization, provided the Ebola genetic sequence, intellectual property related to Ebola research, and possibly other pathogens to China. CSIS information released in February indicated that Dr. Tio facilitated a shipment of Ebola and Nipah virus strains from NML to the WIV in March 2019. She also applied to participate in a Chinese Academy of Sciences project with WIV to develop Ebola viruses for mRNA vaccine research and production. In November 2018, the Public Health Agency of Canada approved the WIV's request to ship both Nipah and Ebola strains. Then, in March of 2019, the NML sent 15 strains to the Chinese lab. An investigation shows that the two scientists have now returned to China and are engaged in research with organizations closely linked to the Chinese military 